Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the Red Coach. Uh, it's been like two months now, but I finally got around to doing it. So this is the third instalment of How to Speak Cork. Johnny! 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 It's life according to Johnny B. Okay, so um, if you haven't guessed already, my name is Johnny B. Um, so basically like about two months ago, I decided to do like a little sort of how to speak Cork lessons. And I've did like two of them so far. So you might want to go back and check the other two first. Or this one might not make sense because it's like a bit of an overlap. Okay, so um, in lesson number two, there was like things like sham, fiend, small fella, young one, old aid, old man. My list is there again. So because I've been home for like two months now, I'm starting to pick up on a lot of words that I kind of forgot about. Um, and as well as that, I asked some people to contribute and um, send me some mails with some words that they think I should include. So thanks to everyone who's mailed me and give me some words and some ideas for more videos. Um, so without further ado, this is lesson number three. Okay, so we have like sham or sham fiend. So the best way to describe that is like someone who's kind of a chav or something like that. So basically it's like a male chav. Um, and you kind of see see a lot of shams walking around the place. They kind of walk the shoulders like this. They just kind of seem to be like throwing shapes. Yeah, like, you know, if you, if you weren't from here, you'd think they were like doing like an R&B dance down Patrick Street or something, you know? And you're just like, why are you walking like that? Okay, so we have more types of insults. So we have things like goal or goal bag. So that's basically like if someone is just an idiot, like, and if, you know, like if someone come up to you and called you fat or something, you'd be like, shut up, you goal. Like, you know, if you're talking about someone, you'd be like, oh, he's some goal. It's kind of like more of an aggressive insult. A not as aggressive one would be the word mog. And I don't, like, I don't even know, there's no word that describes a mog, but like, you would kind of call your friend a mog if they said something stupid, but you'd also call someone you really don't like a mog as well. So like if you were in school and someone was like, Mace is Cork the capital of Ireland. You'd be like, shut up, you mog. No. And basically then there's gimp, which I think falls in between goal and mog. It'd be kind of an aggressive word, but not the worst word that you could call someone. So shut up, you gimp. You're some gimp. What's the story with your gimpy leg? You know, like if someone had a limp with their leg now, you'd be like, what's going on with her gimpy leg? Next word is reef. So you'd hear that a lot if you watch any of my Journey MacLeys videos, which you can find on Facebook. Uh, the word reef, you'd kind of hear a lot of girls saying it like, you know, I'll reef her now off every wall in Ireland. So basically the word reef, it's kind of like how to describe if you see like maybe teenagers fighting when you're in school. It's like reef is when you like reef someone by the back of the hair or something. So you'd be like, I'm going back of the hair or something. So you'd be like, I'm going <laughs> So if you wanted to put like some of those things into a sentence, it would kind of go something like, Oh my god girl, who's the sham walking up the road over there? Eh, uh, what you mean sham? That's my boyfriend, you girl. Um, who you calling a goal, you mug? Once more now, and I reef you off every wall in Ireland. See what I mean? <laughs> Next up, we have. Let me check my list. If you ever have a free gaff, so I had a free gaff for like three weeks because my parents were on holidays. So basically, that's when your house is free, and it kind of tends to be when parties happen. I have a free gaff, come over to my place for a few gats. Um, arse of the fag, which is like giving someone the end of your cigarette, so you, may, you might be like. Girl, give me the ass your fag there. And someone might be hanging or gasping for a fag. So basically, like, you might be something like, Girl, give me the ass of the fag there. I'm gasping. Bushing. So this is when, as a teenager, you go drinking in a field somewhere. Um, bushing. Um, other words, like, that's the job, which is when something, like, really good happens to you. So you might win 20 euro on a scratch card. And you'd be like, that's the job. Giddy bang, which is, like, when you have an uncontrollable laughing fit. You know, I had a giddy bang in class the other day because your one flicked her pen at me. Leg it, which is when you literally run uncontrollably away from somebody. Leg it, the guards come in and I've got nagging in my pocket. Lamp and sconce. So lamp is kind of something like, oh, like over there, lad. It's kind of the same thing. So you might be like, lamp, you're one over there, lad, with our dress. And then sconce kind of is like, I just came here to have a sconce of the fellas. Okay, so if we're going to put some of those words into a sentence, it might go something along the lines like, I'm telling you no, girl, I can't cope. I got a mad giddy bang in the middle of English class because Stephen was lamping me from across the classroom. That goal of a teacher, I'm telling you, 
I was so stressed by the end of it, I had to leg it out because I was gasping for the arse of a fag. Okay, so to translate that, it literally was like, oh my god, I couldn't stop laughing in class the other day because Stephen was looking at me across the classroom. That fool of a teacher. I'm telling you, I was really stressed. I couldn't wait. By the end of it, I had to run outside because I was dying for the end of a cigarette. Okay, so that's lesson number three. Thanks to everyone who contributed some stuff there. Um, I could probably do a lot more as well, so if you want to give me some more words, then put down in the comment box there or tweet me. All the links are in the description box below. So um, if you liked the video, make sure and give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe above as well so you can see um, my other videos. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Remember to smile and believe in possibility. I'm about to go and get drunk because it's Saturday night. Bye.